Good morning, folks. We've got several items to check out today. We'll look at solar activity, a superstorm in the Pacific, short cycle activity on the sun, and another study on magnetic interference with avian navigation. We are starting with our star. And we find the last 24 hours was mostly calm again until at least this morning in the last hour or so. We can see the coronal holes turning in, large one on the south and a smaller one near the solar equator. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are currently quiet. After the filament eruption off the southern incoming limb, which we saw in yesterday's show, there wasn't much more activity from our star. Post-analysis showed most of its plasma fell back down into the corona anyway. The primary watch today is at the large and somewhat complex southern sunspot group, and we can see how the sunspots developed and decayed over the last three days here, with a focus on the morphology and growth of that southern sunspot group. Yesterday, we said it needed to develop more magnetic interaction in order to flare, and that is just starting to happen here this morning. An M-class flare erupted just before the morning news, and we will be monitoring it for further activity today. Quick look at that super typhoon in the Pacific. This is the one that hit Guam and is continuing onwards towards Taiwan. It is expected to shift a bit northward, so we'll keep an eye on its activity there couple good papers, starting with one on Riger-type periodicities. That's one of the names given to the short cycles we commonly call the 5.9-month and 3-month half cycle of uptick propensity. This thesis seems to suggest the periods are shortening of late, which would put it closer to the 5 to 5.5-month five range, not wholly unrealistic, based on the last 18 months of monitoring our star. Lastly, folks, another excellent paper on the magnetic interference with birds. We have seen dozens of papers on how the changing magnetic field of Earth has an impact, but only a few on solar activity and the resulting geomagnetic storm impact. This one hits the latter, which of course will continue to be amplified as the planetary magnetic field is shifting as well. Weaker field, greater avian impact. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out those links we have below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.